So if he's singing, dancing, um, you know, shucking and jiving, skinning and grinning, it's all funny games like Kevin Hart, for example. Kevin Hart can stand on a comedy stage, tell jokes. He's fine. He's 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 a good Negro, but he's not funny if he has an opinion on something else. Like Lavelle Crawford. Lavelle Crawford is a funny comedian to me, but the minute Lavelle Crawford gave a serious opinion on, um, and he has his right to to say what he says. He thinks that um, homosexuality should not be, you know exposed to children and i sort of agree um i feel that you should let children discover themselves naturally you should not push anything on them if they feel that way you know when they're um 11 and 12 it's not much you could really do about that but i but he get he spoke his mind on not um like not being down with promoting homosexuality in cartoons and like i said i agree we we shouldn't do that to children. We should let children discover who they are naturally. Like just let them find out, you know, through the de um development. But he wasn't singing, he wasn't dancing, he wasn't making jokes. And they called him um they tried to cancel him after that and he had to apologize. So it's like it's a racism in the in the jobs we're allowed to do. Once again. We are allowed to only sing, dance, entertain, play sports. Anything else, we're a threat. Why do you think every activist that tried to do good for the black community is dead? Huey P. Newton's dead. Malcolm X is dead. Dr. King, after the civil rights movement, when he lost control of it, he, they killed him. Because you understand, you don't know nothing about Dr. King after I have a dream because they weren't promoting him because he realized the mistake he made with integration. Everybody dies that is an activist for the black community because they're, because understand they're not safe Negroes. They want to see change in the community. They want to see, they want to see um, real progress done in the black community. And you know, that's not obviously allowed to be done. And what I'm, and want to say what I mean about Tariq Nasheed, it's not that you have to agree with him, but he's only a threat because he's talking about white supremacy. He's not singing. He's not dancing. He's not entertaining people. I remember I read this bullshit ass book called How to Be Anti-Racist by this dude. It was Abraham X something. It's a it's a dumb ass book. And I don't I don't agree with a lot of that stuff in there. But the fact that you have a black man writing a book calling out racism not singing, not dancing, not dribbling the ball, not shucking and jiving, not skinning and grinning. He's a threat. He's a threat. He's hated in the comments. When you read those comments, look at the stuff they're saying about him. They're saying all this stuff about him. Um, it, just, just read the comments. And, and it, it, it says, um, it, it's pretty self-explanatory in, in the comment section. But I, want, I just can't imagine all the praise he would get if he was a rapper, if he was a, a, a tap dancer. If he and a tap dancer could be someone on Fox News, someone on um, CNN, someone on on um, any of these crazy nationally syndicated radio shows. But just think about that. If he was doing anything that I described that we're allowed to do, they would have no problem with that. But the minute you speak your mind, the minute you call out the bullshit that goes on in this country, you're hated. You're a threat. And that's what I'm trying to explain with. The roles we are allowed to do. We're not allowed to do anything that I just named. Anything except what I named, you're a threat and you're a target.